Hello, I'm Danielle Okuye. In this week's Investor Spotlight, we look at three themes to play exposure to the energy sector as well as the mining and civil infrastructure sectors. We assess that there are many macro uncertainties for investors and we look at four special stocks and themes in energy, mining and infrastructure. Here are four stocks to watch in the week ahead. This week's spotlight will focus on investing in the energy theme, which remains in focus as the oil price rises back to $90 a barrel, as well as the opportunities and challenges for transition to net zero emissions. Here are four stocks to watch in the week ahead. Higher oil and gas prices offer an inflation hedge, and we look at the cheapest stock in the sector, Santos. We assess how Seven Group is offering more certain earnings growth to sectors like mining and civil infrastructure, and uranium, the clean energy fuel for the future. So we look at Paladin Energy and Beta Shares Global Uranium ETF. Santos is a 50-year-old gas and oil producer with a market capitalisation of $25 billion and Australia's second largest energy company. The story is far from clear-cut. Santos has been a disappointment to investors over the last two years, including an earnings miss. Full year 23 earnings results fell 37%. However, much of the bad news appears to be discounted in the share price and the valuation is assessed by the analysts as cheap relative to its industry peers and it to its history. For Santos, the major challenges are achieving a balance. Seven Group is riding the wave of spending in the mining and civil engineering sectors via their industrial equipment businesses, Westrack Australia and Coates Hire. The company also has a 70% stake in Boral, which supplies to such sectors as well as a 30% investment in Beach Petroleum. Westrack has the sole authorised Caterpillar and Butchirus distribution and maintenance dealership in WA, New South Wales and the ACT. The full year 23 results were a beat according to Goldman Sachs and the company offered positive guidance for full year 24, which bucked against the general reporting season trend. Seven Group is trading on a prospective 14.2 times full year 24 earnings and a 1.8% dividend yield based on upgraded earnings forecasts according to FN Arena. And the average price target is $30.55 offering 8% upside. Buying into uranium stocks is based on the belief that nuclear energy will be part of the clean energy solution. This is not the forum to debate the narrative. Rather, if you are a believer, then here are a couple of investment options. The brokers like Paladin Energy, which is in the process of restarting their Langer Heinrich mine in Namibia and production is forecast to recommence in the March quarter 2024. Bell Potter says this is a low cost mine with the potential to become one of the top 10 uranium mines globally in a safe jurisdiction. If stock selection is too high risk, then one of the other preferred uranium plays is through BetaShares Uranium ETF, ticker code URNM, which offers global uranium exposure. 